One of the most rewarding aspects of gardening that I've found are the lasting relationships I've developed with gardeners online. And one of those very special relationships is with Jack Davis in Phoenix. Now Jack is the one that introduced me to all of the gardeners that I have shot videos at their gardens in Phoenix. So check out my Phoenix playlist. One of the most frustrating things about having a small garden is when those wonderful friends send you seeds and you have nowhere to plant them. I already know what's in this envelope. And if it were anything but melon and cucumber seeds, I would just wait till next year because we're already in the end of July. But I was already sad that I was not going to have any cucumbers and melons this year. So I had an idea. Oh. Hope you feel better soon. Now, that's the thing. Today, Jack and I were supposed to be at the California Rare Fruit Growers Festival of Fruit in Campbell, California. And we had a whole four days planned up there. We were going to tour big and small public and private gardens and hear speakers and have wonderful food and fruit. And um, because of my back, I had to cancel. Ironically, my back started feeling better on Thursday and we were supposed to fly out on Wednesday. At any rate, to honor my friendship with Jack, I am going to plant some seeds today when we would have been together anyway. One of the challenges when you grow back to Eden with wood chips in your raised beds is it's hard to direct sow seeds and seedlings because the wood chips displace and they fall back over and they don't germinate or they don't take off. But I just had an idea. I have had these sitting around since 2012 or 13. Now I used these, I found this online, like you find out everything, and you cut off the bottoms of nursery pots or yogurt cups or whatever and you work these into the ground and then you plant your seedlings or seeds in here and the cutworm, which lives right under the surface of the soil, will not invade this in order to cut down your seedlings. So this was very effective for me and I just hadn't used them in a while and hadn't thought about it. But I thought these would work great with wood chips because I can pull the wood chips back, work these into the soil, you keep two inches above the surface and two inches below the surface, and then you plant your seeds or seedlings in here. And it will keep the wood chips back, and it will also keep the cutworm back. <laughs> Since I have some space in my back 40, where my tomatoes did not thrive, I'm going to plant a few of these today but I'm going to plant them in between the tomatoes because there's a lot of space that's not being utilized on this big trellis. First of all, let's check out these seeds. So, here we go. I just put in some slow release organic fertilizer and azomite minerals and coffee grounds in here and I put a couple of spoonfuls on there and then I'm going to sink the seeds in there after I water. It's 
reminds me of making mud pies when I was a kid. Hope I didn't get that too muddy. Now I'm just gonna put the seeds about a half an inch down. Just for insurance purposes, I'm gonna put four seeds in each pot. and hope I get one. Okay, that's one. I've been wanting to grow a Kajari melon for years and I've tried a few times without success so we shall see if this is the lucky lucky one kind of doing this quickly at the end of the day check in with these in a few days and see how they do. There's one anyway. I put four seeds in each ring. These are the cucumbers on this side. There's one. Let's check the melons. I don't see anything on the melons. Thanks so much for watching this channel and if you enjoyed this video maybe you'll enjoy these. You see that face up there? Just click on that and you'll get notifications every time I upload a video. And if you just wouldn't mind hitting that like button down there, that would help a lot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.